This is a video demonstration for my dissertation project. For my dissertation, I have created a web application that uses semantic web and natural language processing to create a smart search engine. The web application allows users to search for movies, and using natural language processing techniques, the user can ask a number of different questions, and the natural language processor will extract the data for, for the query. I use an API from Microsoft called Lewis to handle the natural language processing and all the data displayed on the web application is sourced from Dpedia which is a semantic version of Wikipedia. Here is a diagram showing how a search is processed throughout the web application. When the search is initiated it checks whether it's in the local database. If it isn't in the local database it then sends a request to Lewis. Lewis then returns a JSON file where the data is then extracted to create a Sparkle query. When the Sparkle query is created it then sends the query to Dpedia and the returns results are added to the database and displayed for the user. If the search is in the database, it then checks whether it's up to date. If the data is up to date, it then displays instantly for the user. If the data is too old, the search query is then deleted from the database and a new search is then initiated to update the information. I've designed the database, I, I've designed the application this way because it lowers the number of calls across a network and it ensures that the users always have up-to-date information. The IDE I used to develop the web application was Visual Studio 2017. As you can see I've created an ASP.NET MVC web application. Here is the Models folder, Views folder and the Controllers folder. Now I'm going to briefly describe and show how the code actually works. So when the user initiates a search it calls the method search in the home controller. If the user search, if the user's input is empty, they are then simply redirected to the home page. But if the search is successful, it calls the search async method. The search async method is simply modeled on the search process I described earlier. So as you can see, it checks whether it's in the database. If it is in the database, it then checks when it was last updated. If the information is too old, it will be deleted. And if the uh, and then once the information is deleted, it then gathers new information. So when it gathers the new data, it first sends a query to Lewis using the call Lewis async method. The call Lewis async method simply sends the string, the user's input, to Lewis and returns a JSON file. The JSON file is then converted to a Lewis JSON model, which I created here. That model is then sent back um, and then sent to the extract Lewis data method. The extract Lewis data method simply iterates through all the entities in the Lewis model um, and adds any variables to the static variables. The static variables is then, are then sent to the create sparkle query method. The create sparkle query method simply runs some logic and creates a sparkle query. The sparkle query is then sent back and then sent to the query dpedia method. The query dpedia method simply sends the uh, sparkle query to dpedia and returns a sparkle result set. The sparkle result set is then sent to the loop values to database uh, method with the user's input. It is then, it's then formatted to make sure all the values uh, wouldn't crash the database. <laughs> and on all those variables are individually sent to the add database method. The add database method creates a movie search object. The movie search object is a database, is, it represents the database. And here's what the database looks like. When the object is created, it is then added to the table and then the t changes are saved. Once it's looped through all the values and added all the, all the values to the database, it is then back, we, we then go back to the home controller, uh, where it creates a list of all the search results for the user. The search results are then sent to the view and displayed for the user. The final thing I would like to show is I used GitHub to keep track and update, uh, to keep track and monitor my code. 
and I used a simple integration that was in integrated into Visual Studio and here's how to use it. Simply enter a description for the commit, so updated commit all then you sync the changes by pushing the commitments to uh, github Once the uh, once once the commitment has been pushed to GitHub, you'll then see the updated results. On GitHub. So you can see updated thirty seconds ago. So now let's go and check the web application in action. This is the web application I designed and developed for my dissertation. For the overall look and feel of the website I've used HTML5 for the structure. Uh, jQuery to add a bit of in interactivity and I've used Compass which is a framework for SAS which is an extension to CSS3 uh, to style the web application and to make it responsive. The search itself allows users to search for films. The natural language processor has been trained to spot three different pieces of information which are the genre, the year and the number of results the user wants returned. Unfortunately, Dpedia, which is where the data is sourced, uh, does not store the genre of movies such as crime or thriller but it does store the genre of music used in the movie such as uh, jazz or soundtrack so that's what I'll be using to test my web application so the user can search for practically anything but say for example you wanted free random films all the user has to do is ask and free random films, uh, films will return uh, if the user wanted five The user wanted five world music films. The web application will turn exactly five results from the genre of world music. But then this can be extended even further by asking for a year as well. So for example, uh, two soundtrack films from 2010. The web application will turn exactly two results from the, with the genre soundtrack from 2010. But you can do broader results, uh, broader searches, such as all films from Pacific Year. So, for example, all films from 1990. This will take a lot longer to process, as there will be a lot more than two results. Uh, but once the once it is processed, if the search is, if someone searches again. Uh, it would show the results from the stored local the stored in the local database, so it'll be at split second to return. So as you can see, there's 246 results for films from 1990. Uh, but you can also do all films from a specific genre, say jazz films. All films uh, with the genre jazz will be displayed. So as you can see. Adding semantic web and natural language processing together has created a truly smart search engine uh, that is customized for the user. So thanks for watching uh, my, my uh, demonstration of my dissertation project.